Hello, 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 my fellow Rube Goldbergers, and welcome back to this week's solution uh, to the weekly contraption maker puzzle. Uh, I'm Bounty Hunter SAX, and uh, let's have some fun here. So, da -da 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 -da. oh, sweet. Still the first couple pages. There's still no search feature for puzzles, and that really frustrates me because I don't know how you would find. Like, do you just keep flipping back till you find the last one? I mean, that's frustrating. There's got to be an easier way to find puzzles you're looking for. Anyway, weekly puzzle four. Egg, all egg, and one bath bucket. Get your egg into the shopping bucket. No half-baked, broken, or cruddy eggs. Let's start by looking at what we got. Egg snips scissors, rolls downhill, bucket flies up on anti-grav pad, flips switch. Drop in buckets, that's about it. There is no challenge solution for this level. I found every part to be required. I also found this part puzzle to be hard enough without needing a challenge mode. Um, one thing that's quickly obvious to me is if we could remove these scissors, or we could move them from here to here, say, then uh, we could potentially have the egg drop straight into the bucket, and then roll the, the egg off the scissors so it doesn't break on the way. I actually tried to make this the challenge by adding scissors to our available parts, the problem is, if I do that, it's almost impossible to find the exact position that you want the scissors on so that it is here for the completion of the puzzle the correct way. So I opted against it because I'm not a fan of pixel hunts. Alright, well, that's enough nonsense. Let's get on with the puzzle solution. We don't have a lot to work off of here, but one thing is quickly obvious. There's a scissors between a bucket and a seesaw. Even without knowing why or how, my instinct would say, what happens if I tie them together? Well, let's find out. Well, what happens is, it pulls down, which, get, which is enough to activate this hamster wheel before getting cut, and then suddenly the whole puzzle seems to open up. With a moving hamster wheel generating motion, I should have no problem putting a jack-in-the-box right here, at the end of it. And then the egg will fall down there and bounce up off of it. And then we can keep moving it. Oh, Lord, oh Lord have mercy. That egg did not bounce up at all. That was, a uh... Try the other direction. Nope. We need to... This is coming up a little too early. We need to delay the activation of the hamster wheel. We need to make this teeter-totter move a little bit more slowly. To do that, we're going to increase the weight it has to pull significantly. Look how much slower that was. Boom! It worked! It worked perfectly! And then we have... Wait, wait, wait. Let, let, let's see it again. Let's see it again. Knock up, knock up, knock up. Boom! Knocks up, bounces, lands on the cushion, and the egg is delivered to this high platform. God, if only we could just give it like a shove in that direction. We could just get it moving and... Oh, wait. We could give it a shove. We've got a fan here. Stands to reason we could just do another fan like that, and then just shove the egg one, two, all the way, so, especially since we push the seesaw end down with our pulley system here, so that it'll, you know, go right over the edge. Okay, well, how are we going to turn this switch on then? Clearly something here will make a difference. I mean, it looks like if we turn on the toaster and smack it a little somehow, we could have the toast fly out, which will knock the ball, maybe? To flip that switch, we would need this ball to get to the anti-gravity pad, maybe, and go up. To get this ball to go to the anti-gravity pad, we'll need to turn it on with a hamster cage. See that? That's called working backwards. And of course we... Oh, beautiful! I didn't even think of that. The drops of water are activating it nice and early for us. Is there any harm if all these activate too early? Early, 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 boink, early, blowing before. This might be a little bit of a difficulty if it knocks the egg off before we get to where we need to be. So let's let's try this and see what happens. Hamster wheel is now going the right direction. Anti grab. And boom, fans in. Oh. Oh, hang up. This thing got bumped on here. Okay, so we got to make sure it's in such a position that the water hits it, but the bucket doesn't. No, bucket totally hit it. Try again. Better. 
better. Oh my god, the timing works out perfectly. Okay, but now this is block blocking our fan. Hmm. Let's see if we can get away with the fan being an inch closer. Just, you know, impart a little bit more thrust to our erstwhile victim. Yes. Yes! Oh! Too hard, too hard, too hard, too hard. Clearly, it's going to be necessary to stop it from going all the way off the end. So why not apply a counter blow? Counter blow? We'll need to activate the system, so plug a light bulb in here to activate the solar panel, which is obviously going to be flipped by the bucket, and that should do it! That looks like... yup, yup, there we go. Blow in the wrong direction. Toast. Ball. Blow. Blow. Counter blow. Land! Oh my god, the egg drop has been completed without breaking it! Congratulations, me! And, you know, the two people who probably actually tried this puzzle. Ah, uh, yes, anywho, that's, uh, that's the official answer to this puzzle. And as I've hinted before, whereas most of my weeks I have a challenge solution, this week I have none. I don't know why, but I could not find a way to do this puzzle with less parts. I couldn't find a non-official way to do it. Um, I'd like to believe that this method is not too obvious or too inobvious. It seems like a relatively solid puzzle all by itself, but, uh... <laughs> I mean, there you have it. I guess one thing to consider... No, we don't control this. If I can move this hamster wheel here, I could potentially use the drops to act... No, but that would be too early. <laughs> yeah, see, it's the timing of it. The fact that this system right here is on such a sensitive time scale to the point that the added weight of pushing a second teeter-totter all, makes all the difference between success and failure, that's a huge part of what makes this puzzle work or not work and why it's so challenging. The fact that uh, the egg is so fragile, they're just shoving it in a different direction. If this was not an egg, but it was this whole puzzle was set up with a tennis ball, there'd be a number of ways to at least try to do this differently. I mean, for example, I could turn this this way and try and bounce the ball that way and see if maybe I could, you know, finagle an angle to work it through this crack so that it would fall here. Or I could, uh... <laughs> Let's go ahead and recycle everything. I could go, if this was a tennis ball, we could potentially try some shenanigans like this. Fan. Counterwind. Stop me if I already tried it in this puzzle and forgot. I'm, I don't remember if I did or not. But yeah, this, these shenanigans would start to have like a lot more possibility to them. Because, there, see, see, it totally flew right at it and the ball nearly landed in. Now there'd be a bouncing ball here and that thing's still turning. You know, it would be just a matter of, can I get it to turn all the way? What if, what if, I tie it down like that? No, that, that won't do it. What if I tie it down right there? Now it'll happen. Oh, right, right, it'll, it'll go the wrong way. Uh, there. No, again, too tight. Lose the pulley. Lose the pulley. I said lose the pulley. Ah. Like, what would happen if I tied it like that? Oh, right, the scissors. Whoa! Completely different story this time for some Oh, right, because it began by swing this way instead of rolling down the hill. Interesting. So, um, if I did this... No, that's the same thing. Um, okay. Other options I would have if this were, like, a less fragile object would be something like this. Put a tight ceiling on this whole mess. No, okay. Um, what about the far end of the seesaw? I mean, you see what I'm doing? I'm trying things that that look a little bit more violent than perhaps otherwise would be recommended, but have the potential to actually do this faster. Unfortunately, with this being so breakable, anything you try that isn't carefully calibrated to roll the thing slowly is going to fail. This piece right here, fun fact when making the puzzle, was initially there so that it would catch the egg as it rolled up the, the thing and then have it end slowly over here. It only just, it just so happened that when I was messing with the scissor location, I broke the whole puzzle by mistake and had to come up with a new new way to make it work. Uh, which is when I came up with the idea of the dual pulley system slowing down the activation. To be honest with you, uh, the scissors really were just gonna be the, the challenge solution right there until I realized there's no way to do that that doesn't make the normal solution into a pixel hunt. 
And that's one thing I probably... I mean, look at that. That... That violent of a... A motion, complete with bouncing off the ceiling, this distance was perfectly set up. If, if, if this had been a bullfuckery solution made up made up specifically as a challenge, uh, yeah, you would you'd be hard pressed to break this puzzle unless I had designed it to be broken, which is not what I ever do. I design these puzzles to be done legitimately and then try to prove that everything can be broken. Uh, just that I wasn't able to break this one. Anyway, that's, uh, that's Egg in the Bucket. I hope you all had fun with it. Um, there may not be a weekly video, a weekly, uh, puzzle this week. Uh, there's a small chance that I'm going to be too busy with other things to actually get that done on time. And I apologize, but at the same time, I mean, come on. I, I can only work inspiration on a weekly basis so many times in a row. Uh, I do have the germ of an idea brewing. Something involving rockets and test launches, so hopefully I get it out, but if not, uh, I'll either do it next week or just later in this week, uh, as the case may be. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time.